Come here, Eliza. So I talked to Kayla and she's holding the bed down as she said. Um, but we are on the way now to head to their house, start the painting process and the cleaning. Got pushed over and landed on Bradley's toe. It looks like her toes broke. I'm just gonna be honest. The verdict on Bradley's toe is... <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome back to our vlog and a crazy crazy morning already I've had no sleep, but there's no surprise there So I'm starting the new year off with a bang because I said in the new year I was gonna really try to get to bed on time, but I wasn't expecting Kayla to be in the hospital and especially being in the hospital like all day today a lot has got to happen today my voice is kind of shot because I was up so late and I stayed on the phone with Kayla for a long time last night. But I got the vlog done last night because I didn't know how today was going to go. This is what I do know is happening today. Um, well, we were supposed to go somewhere first thing this morning. That's why we all jumped up and got dressed in five minutes. I mean, I didn't even do my hair. I didn't do my makeup. But where were we supposed to be this morning? The nail salon. Riley was getting her nails done. She was getting a full set of nails. Our nail tech called, or actually texted me, and he woke up this morning with a swollen foot and can't even walk on it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, take care of yourself. And I know Riley's a little upset, I get it, but it's something he can't help and he needs to take care of himself as well. So um, he said he's gonna reschedule, I said that's fine. So then I talked to Kayla. Kayla is um, doing good this morning. She has had blood work done again. Of course, they checked her blood pressure around the clock. It's still elevated. Not as high, but it's still elevated. I think the last time they took it, it was 130 over something. I can't remember what she said. Caleb is gonna go this morning and get cleaning supplies, paint supplies, and a bunch of stuff for their house. Um, they found a rental. I know we kind of touched on it last night. We really didn't talk a lot about it. I don't know if I even told you guys, they were actually um, staying with Caleb's parents when they first moved back from college just until they could find their own space. The house needs a lot of work as far as like we need to get in there, we need to clean, and we need to paint. And we thought we were gonna have a couple weeks to do this and then move them in before, before the baby comes. And that didn't happen because we're just not sure what's gonna happen right now. They're still testing Kayla for preeclampsia. So, so much has got to be done in the next few days. So I'm not really sure if there'll even be a vlog for the next day for tomorrow. I know once you're seeing this, I don't know what's gonna have been happened by the time you guys see this vlog is what I'm trying to say. I may be putting something up on my Instagram story and putting something up on YouTube, letting you guys know what's going on if I'm unable to get a vlog up in the next couple days. Right now, we're gonna leave, go get dog food because I need to do that this morning. I'm gonna go pick up a few supplies for cleaning and then I'm gonna come home and start loading my car and then we'll be heading over to their little house. But I am so tired this morning, so if I just look and sound and act exhausted, I am. But maybe I'm catching that this afternoon. But you know, we'll see how the day goes. So yeah, stick around. Should be a lot of fun today for the vlog. Um, and we'll just keep you posted on what's going on with house and baby. Come here, Eliza. Liza's wearing the Stop. same clothes she's been wearing for like five days. <laughs> it's really bad. She's still got pajamas but I'm to keep on. my hair healthy. No. It hasn't yeah. been five days. It's been, what's today? Three. Tuesday? It's been Saturday, four. Saturday, Saturday Sunday, Monday, 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 Monday. It's been mm -hmm. almost like four. four days. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's alright. We're taking her home at some point today. She no, was only not. planning on staying Drum one night. Here. And so she only she wore pajamas to come to our house because we weren't going nowhere. We're and going then to the next day. she just had no other clothes to wear. So now here she is with the same clothes on she's had for five days. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. So it's while we're in the pet store, we're gonna be looking for stuff to maybe make a betta fish. Oh, we are. Bowl. Yes. I just wanna go over and look. I and we got big, dog food. I have, yeah, we got dog food. I have that big bowl from Kayla's wedding, and I always envision making it a betta fish bowl <laughs> later down the road. We're not good fish people. So you don't want to get a fish? I, was thinking I didn't might, say we could I was thinking it might jump out. But I'm so just saying, y'all are not very good fish people. We get Alicia walking. 
Okay. A leash, Liza, and we need walk. a leash. She's walking around the fish aquarium. We need a yeah. Mama, we need a um, but we might need a lid to put on it because I'm scared it's gonna jump out. I don't know. If you don't put the water too hot, it what? shouldn't. Yeah. And if it jumps out, that's his own fault. Yeah. Right. yeah if it jumps out, it's Making just gonna you know, be so heartless. <laughs> no, I'm not heartless because I tried saving. I once, guys, at a right. beach trip, I saw a puffer fish and it was still breathing, and um, we saved it. Did you, did, don't you remember that? The puffer fish. The puffer fish. <laughs> yeah, it was out of the water, and it, it and yep. I saw it, and I thought it wasn't alive. But then I saw it breathing, and then we threw it back into the water, and it lived happily ever after. Okay, y'all ready to go? I swear. Okay, let's go. Look at pretty. Let's go look. Let's go look at the fish stuff. Ah. Left Petco. That was no. An where adventure. are we at? Yeah, Petco. That was an adventure inside the Petco. We were standing there, and a lot of traumatic things happened in there. We were standing there, and we were looking at the betta fish, and Liza's all like picking up the betta fish, and they kept jumping at her. Yeah, I was just looking at them. I like don't know what was they happening. kept jumping at her, and she's like, I don't. She goes, I don't like that brand. I said, There's not a brand of fish. I know, but <laughs> not she a brand. meant the type. Yeah. yeah. She goes, I don't like that brand. And I just started laughing because I was like, There's but not a you're brand not going of fish. Home with me. Yeah. She told one of them. She goes, You're not going home with me. And then she started no. laughing at herself. And it then we went and looked at the other goldfish, and like that whole tank, was it was literally practically dead. It, it was literally dead goldfish inside of the tank, and there was one stuck to the filter. It was yeah. gross. Oh, there's Liza. And then Liza, I know where she was. No, and then there Liza was standing there, the and then Liza standing there. She goes, "Oh my God, it stinks." I said, "I said, what does it smell like?" She goes, "Fish." We're literally standing at a Wonder fish tank. Why. Except I think for that there were a bunch of that tank that were dead. And then, and fish and liked then we, me. He was like all white and he had blue eyes. He liked did. me. And then yeah. we went to and then we went to um Liza told a lot of them they were ugly and I was like, Liza, you probably hurt their feelings. She's like, I don't yeah. care. So then we Except were going to go leave and y'all, there is a red big like like trash can mm -hmm. with crickets in it with no lid and they were filled to the top i said if them things can jump out that was scary I and Liza was like Liza goes uh-uh that's where we draw like the crickets. line she goes it's time to go it was yeah, rough was, uh, i was like why don't they have a lid on that that's scary they, they could literally and there was two trash cans full of them yeah I was, um, they could jump out i, I said like what crickets. if one jumped out on you right now Liza? she goes i would sue yeah <laughs> pet cash you're watching put lids on your crickets that's just like scary yeah. What, oh, like, what if they all got out? I could have one in my hair right now. Stop. Stop. I don't like that. And then we saw a snake and I almost like. Ooh, that well, thing I, literally that hairs on my arm stood up. I literally should have I was like, look, I'm literally getting chill bumps. No, I cannot stand nice. a snake. Like, but I love mm -mm. that. I love. And we also saw a turtle, but I like. I he really, liked the little that fish. That turtle was yes. huge. He was. So. I didn't so get. Cute. I didn't get anything today. I told them, let me go home. I want to research what all I need, what type of plant, because I want to put like a live plant in there, in the aquarium, and I didn't see anything in there that I saw online you should have for the beta. So I just, today's not the day to be getting fish supplies. We're not getting I just wanted to anyway, look so right. Matter. We have and we have like plenty of time. To get yeah, because we really need to. Um, we need to clean on the boat. We need to get focus on Kayla's honestly, house. We need to focus on Kayla's house. But if we were to get a fish, we need to get the bowl situated first. The new offs to get coffee and a few cleaning supplies. <laughs> you good? Wrong. Yeah. Okay. Sweet tea and Riley. bagels. So I talked to Kayla and she's doing really well, holding the bed down as she said. And she's like, this is so boring. I said, girl, yeah. wait till you go into labor and you're in there for a few days if it happens that way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, she has no idea. I was very fortunate. I feel like in a way I had C-section. So I went in and within like, you know, a couple hours I had a baby, you know. But not so much for her. That's not going to be the case. Um, but we are on the way now to head to their house and start the painting process and the cleaning and boy, you're gonna love my outfit. I may have showed my outfit on the channel before. This is not the, my normal paint shirt, but it's one that I really don't care about messing up. But my paint pants are covered in paint. And yes, I'm leaving the house like this, but I do have a change of clothes in the back if need be. Um, I'm gonna go through my little checklist in my head of everything I have in the back. And then we're gonna head there and get busy. Get busy cleaning, get busy painting. When I get a minute, I will show you. Maybe I can just throw some clips in of us doing our stuff. Because as soon as I get there, I'm ready to get started because I want to go see Kayla at some point today. And I got to get there before visiting hours are over. And it's already going on, what, 2.30, right? Yep. 
Two o'clock. What a day already. Okay, so today did not go as we thought it was gonna go. Okay, so let me just go ahead and tell you what happened. We went to Kayla's and Caleb's and started painting and doing all that and everything's going good. We were so busy, I didn't even pull out my camera, you guys. Like, all of us were like just getting it done. We were um in the living room and they had decided to move the couch out. Um, Kayla's friend had came over to help us and Caleb and it was all of us. Um, Kayla's friend decided let's move the couch out because she's going to give her a couch. And so they were trying to move it out. Well, when they moved it out, Briley, because her friend's pregnant, so um, when they were moving the couch out, Briley and Liza were on one end, but after it went through the door, they both couldn't fit through the door. So he pulled it out and then Briley went to go get behind it to help finish lifting. And she told him, you know, hang on a minute, let me try to lift it up because it's heavy. Well, the couch got pushed over and landed on Briley's toe. Immediately, Briley starts crying, running in the house on one foot, and my toe, my toe, my, I mean, could not even get it out. She was hyperventilating. I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened? So we take her sock off, and it looks like her toes broke. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> if it ain't her neck or her leg, now it's a toe. Like, what is going on right now? I'm like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to rush to the doctor. So, I have Liza and Aiden. I can't take them with me. So, we left the house and we came home. I called Barry. He is still in the middle of haircuts. And I'm like, Briley's toe, I think, is broke. And he's on the way home. I was supposed to go to the hospital tonight with Kayla to take Briley because Briley was going to spend the night with her. I think I told you guys that earlier. Well, Visiting hours are over in like 30 minutes, and now I have to go to the hospital or immediate care or something with Briley. I have a feeling immediate care is not going to do anything. If I tell them it's broke or we think it's broke, they're probably going to send us to the emergency room, and we'll probably be there half the night. But she can't move it. She can't bend it. She's kind of just sitting is all she can do. Do you want to change your clothes or try to change your clothes before we go? You just want to go like you are. Okay. But anyway, so long story short... Her dad, Liza's dad's on the way to pick her up. He was actually going to go to the hospital and sit with Kayla. He's like, do I need to go to the hospital and sit with Kayla? And, I, and I'm like, no, because I think Kayla might be going back to the hospital. It's just a mess. Y'all, I just want to go to bed and start the day, like a whole new day. <sighs> we need a redo on the day. I know, who you Frustrated. Nothing got finished. We didn't finish painting. Like, so much left to do. And now we got somebody injured. And I got to go to the ER. I'm not mad at you. You know that. Mm. I'm just like frustrated at the situation. Like, not the way the night was supposed to go. I was supposed to finish up painting, come home, take Liza home, get us some dinner, go to the hospital, hang out with Kayla, visit, probably stay the night, come home and get some good sleep. It's just turned to a whole lot more than that. And yeah, I can't share all my frustrations, but I'm just frustrated. And anyway, that's, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm waiting for dad waiting for her dad and then we're gonna go to the er so stick around guys we got an er vlog on the way or immediate care i don't know which one we're going to but holy crap holy beep you know what i'm saying holy beep like holy beep i'm just holy beep your turn Bradley. she don't even feel like beep. are you good right now it I know it hurts. Just stick around and we'll let you guys know what's next. I gotta go get out of these clothes and I gotta change because I, I cannot go looking like this. This is my pants right now. These are my paint pants. Can you see them? Yeah, they're hot, right? So, can't go like that. But anyway, I'm gonna get off here so we can go in the house and hang out for a second. Can you get in the house? She can walk on the back of her heel. She can't put any pressure on her toe. I'll piggyback if I have to. But it's really ugly. So, okay, let's go in and we'll be back. All right, so we got Dad and Aiden with us, which I've had Aiden, but I got Dad now with us. And we have made it to um, see the doctor, and we're gonna go in. I called a bunch of different places, trying to find out who could do an x-ray, who could read it, 
if we went to like an urgent care and most of them would, didn't have anybody there to read it, sorry, or they didn't have anybody that could do an x-ray. So here we are heading in. She's having like real bad shooting pain in it. So we'll let you know shortly. So the nurse came in, took some pictures, and they're gonna send her to x-rays, but we're waiting on talking to the doctor first, and then we'll find out if it's broken. Riley just went back for x-ray, and Riley said the x-ray looked a little messed up. Yeah. What'd you say it was like two what? There's like two gray spots on my toe that did not look like they were supposed to be there. One sticking out of my bone, mm -hmm. and then the other one's on top of my bone. What in the world? Not, it looks exactly like that. Like you see that right there? Move your finger. Oh, you like have that? that? Looks like that. Is that a broken toe? I don't know. I saw it's and this one popped up, and there's one right here, but a little higher, like up here. What in the heck is that? I have no clue. Okay, we're back in the car, and boy, that was a, like a really quick visit. I was very impressed. Went in, nurse came in, he like called us back right away. Nurse came in, listened to everything, took her straight to x-ray, came back in, and literally not very long after, a doctor was in, talked to the doctor, and super nice, super nice doctor. But the verdict on Briley's toe is... It's broken. Here's the thing, though. She wasn't sure how to proceed at this point because it depends exactly. Well, okay, back up. The toe at the top, she said if all her break is there, which is what she saw, that can be taped, iced, elevated. Those were, she gave us some things to do. She's like, rest, um, don't be on your foot much. You know, you can still try to walk on it. Just don't, you know, if anything hurts, don't put a lot of pressure on the front of your toe. You know, common sense stuff, right? She said where it gets tricky is the top of the foot, like so if this was her toe, the top of her foot, she has a knot here and a knot here. She's not sure if there's not a hairline fracture or a breakup there. So they're sending it off to radiology to read and the thing is she said because it's almost midnight at this point that she's not really sure if it'll come back tonight or I'll have to wait until tomorrow and around lunchtime they'll contact me or sometime in the morning by lunch, they'll let me know what the radiology found out. If it's all in just her toe, which is what she believes, she said then she'll just tape her toes and be fine. If it's up in the top part of her foot, then she'll have to go see orthopedic, like orthopedic doctor, and she'll probably get it put in a boot. Kinda just don't know what's gonna happen from here on. I do know tonight she said she ta they taped her toes, they told her to go home, elevate it, and put ice on it, and just rest tonight, and wait to hear back from them to see if they recommend going to orthopedic or not. That was the one thing she was concerned with was just the top because she had those knots. And looking at it on x-ray, she's like, you know, I'm not an orthopedic doctor because it's, you know, she wasn't. She's like, but we'll know more then just because of all the swelling and the bruising in the top of her foot and with those knots. She couldn't really tell if there was a hairline fracture or not. She said, looking at it at first glance, she didn't think there was on the top, but she couldn't rule it out until radiology reads it, which is most, I knew that's what was gonna happen, and that's all I wanted. Their situation, her, her toe at the bottom though, that is broke, but they're just not sure about the top, so yeah. Gonna go home, gonna rest. I'm about to fall asleep now. I know, what a day, man, what a day. I'm sleeping in in the morning and you can't. Anyway, let's go home.